What's up, DVW fam? So we're back again at Chungdam Food Hall, a new food hall here in Las Vegas to try some more food. That's the thing about food halls. It's all about variety. We had a couple of spots here, but uh, we're back for round two. So let's go inside and see what else they got. Let's go. Today, we're at one of the newest food halls in Las Vegas, Chongdam. There's about five stalls here, one being a dessert and one restaurant, so six in total. We're gonna try a little bit of everything at this food hall for you guys, starting off with our first spot called Korea. This is their dessert shop, the Ho Ho Crunch right here. So, mm. This is their main hitters right here. It's called a uh, Hotok. So yeah, there's a lot of options here at the Chongdam food hall. A lot of Asian options, but this one could be a little bit confusing, the Teddy Butterhouse, because I didn't know what it was when I got here, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe like a fusion, Korean American or Asian American, like a breakfast spot. So there's like drinks on that. So we got like a pineapple aid right here. To give us a little pick me up it is the afternoon right now. And they have like a bunch of espresso cheese lattes, but I'm not really into that, but yeah. Ooh, refreshing, it's like a carbonated. Pineapple aid. <laughs> this is one of the main things about going to a food hall with friends. Like, if you guys disagree with something, like, I want Mexican food, breakfast, <laughs> all I want is Asian food, so we got something different. As you guys can see, in this food hall, there's a lot of, you know, friends, families, so yeah, that's the main thing about food halls, variety, and uh, they actually bring you the food, so Teddy Butterhouse right here, and uh, the curry, so we got a little bit of everything for you guys today. So, it's, uh, we're hungry today. We're gonna get a lot of food. Nice. All right, and Ale here got a little curry. Yeah, yeah, he loves Asian food. I got that the other time. It's actually pretty good. Do the egg pop. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at that. Mix that all in. All right, like I said, um, the Teddy Butter House is like a fusion American breakfast spot. So this is apparently Turkish breakfast. I never had this before. It's a sharshuka. It's in this little like pan. One of the most satisfying parts of a dish. Oh, look at that. Let's mix it all up. All right, so some Turkish breakfast right here. This is gonna be a first. Not gonna lie, I have a funny odor coming from it, but you know, <laughs> um, you gotta taste the first, right? Is that what I'm smelling? Huh? Is that what I'm smelling? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Ale is just across me. He's like, is that what I'm smelling? But uh, let's, yeah, let's take a taste. Okay. It might be from this garlic butter cheese right here. Garlic butter bread. Mm. This place is called Teddy Butter House, so I guess they butter up these things pretty well. And there's a lot of bread on the menu, there's a lot of sandwiches, so I'm pretty sure, I can see in the back in the kitchen, they're making some bread. I'm pretty sure the bread is really good. Oh, it's nice and buttered roll right here. This butter roll croissant, so fluffy. In the inside, a little crisp from the outside, but it's like buttered evenly all throughout. That's really good. I'm gonna take some of the shashuka with this little butter roll. Mm. There's some like potatoes here for us. Okay. These are confusing. I don't know what these are called. Cause they're like, they're shaped like chips, but they're like little like potato wedges, uneven potato wedges. <laughs> Breakfast potatoes. They're like kind of crispy. I definitely use a little salt on them, but pretty delicious. I love potatoes, anything. This dish, it's kind of like a very, it has a lot of ingredients, a lot of veggies. It's kind of like, um, almost like a spaghetti bolognese sauce. But more refreshing, more veggies. And there's like some pieces of beef and eggs in here. But um, yeah, pretty sure you eat it with this toast. Get one. It's nice. Amen. And also, all the prices here are pretty fair. That's one of the main things about a food hall. Food hall nowadays are replacing a lot of buffets. It's basically like a buffet that you have to pay for each item, but 
when the prices are pretty fair, it just adds up to, you know, regular buffet in Vegas. Yeah, because you get a variety of food and it's cooked fresh to order. Mm -hmm. This is like 12 bucks or something for like a breakfast dish. I give this charge two cuts. My first time trying it, like an 8 out of 10. You can use like a little flavors. But this bread right here, this butter roll, amazing. 10 out of 10. I made the bread sound so good. All I wanted to take a taste. How's it? The 10 out of 10, like I said? 10 out of 10. I think I figured out where to order is from. There's an abundance of onions in here and like zucchinis and a bunch of vegetables. I think it's from the onions. But yeah, very pleasantly surprising Turkish food. Time for some Mexican food right here. We got some quesadilla tacos right here. Fried tortilla shells with these consomme right here. And yeah, let's try this first without any consomme. Take a bite. Mm. Honestly, I'm from California, so I'm being pretty harsh critic when it comes to tacos, Mexican food, but also when it comes to Vietnamese food as well. Um, so, I mean, it just comes with the territory. So, I would say the birria could be a little bit more tender, it's more on the dry side. But that's why it's, it's consomme to rehydrate the meat. But you really can't go wrong with queso birria tacos, guys. Come on, like melted white cheese, shredded beef. Could be goat sometimes, but I think this is beef and a deep fried tortilla. Like, how can you hate on that? Definitely need it because it rehydrates the meat. For a shredded, you know, birria, it's more on the dry side. And it could use a little bit more flavor, but um, that's why you have a consomme, but the consomme could also use a little bit more. Maybe heat, I mean, it's Mexican food. Saltiness, spiciness, so overall DVW score. It's all with 7.6. I'll definitely come here if I'm craving Mexican food in a food hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last bite, best bite. Love the globs of cheese on here. Mm. All right, so my weakness right here, carne asada fries. Look at this, baby. Carne asada steaks, bunch of pico de gallo, got the guacamole, and some fries. Carne asada fries is also one of those dishes like queso beer tacos. Like, how can you hate on it? You know, steak, fries, guacamole, sour cream. It's a guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. Like I said, carne asada fries is one of my favorite dishes, so solid 8.1 out of 10, but it's not like the best carne asada fries I've had or anything. Like I said, Put you a little bit more flavor on the meat. Lacking a little bit of flair. I can't put my finger on it, you know? Just being from Southern California, I'm just lacking a little bit of flair, but still a really mouth-watering dish. Carne asada fries, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, we need Mexican food. Much needed jaritos, tamarind flavor, of course, and horchata. It's only right to wash down the tacos with the horchata, right? Salud. Mm, not too bad. Pretty good. Cinnamony, sweet, ricey. Creamy. That's our chata for you guys. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, this looks like sugar overload, but I am a sweet tooth. This is their Petty Butter House's version of a little brick toast right here. It's basically like a big toast, and then on the inside it should be really fluffy. Well, let me just take a piece, and there's like a big glob of ice cream too. And the branding's on point, there's these little like cookie, yeah, Teddy Grahams. Mm-hmm. You know what, I'm just gonna go savage. Take a big bite. Mmm. A bunch of Oreo crisps throughout. Mm. There's like a typical flavor, and then this is a Oreo flavor. I can tell the bread here is a hit. It's super fluffy. My favorite part is the inside of a bread, like even like a baguette. I like the soft part. I don't like the crispy, like crust. So this is amazing on the inside. Mm-hmm. Nice and buttered. 
This one there, top sellers. This is a nice little, you know, date spot. All the presentation is like pretty cute when they bring it out, the lattes and all this. I give it a solid 8.7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. All right, DVW fam, I'm stuffed. So we gotta try a few selections here at Chongdam Food Hall. That's the thing about the food hall's variety. So yeah, there's a lot of diverse foods and delicious dishes. Overall, really like Chongdam's really cool spot. Great date spot, place to bring your family. A lot of good food options here. So overall, I give it a DVW score of maybe a nine out of 10. Awesome place, so yeah. See you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, please like it. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us and subscribe for more DVW food and travel vlogs. Deuces. The Chongdam food hall right now. There's one restaurant here that's not like the rest of them. It's the all you could eat sushi place. So we're gonna do one full video trying out this all you could eat sushi. And